Um, and so, but I had never thought of like the previous icons that I grew up with in that light, except for Michael Jackson. Shamoon. <laughs> yeah. Innocent. And, and also, and, innocent. I know. That might be what we, that might be what we disagree about, but, but we, but it, it, let's get it, let's it, get it to it, it Jake. Let's a, get it, Jake. Right. So one of the uh, things that I'm extremely happy about, or, or okay, well, two things. Mental health is being like almost exploited, but I'm fine with that because it needs to be in the forefront of conversations because we yeah. don't we don't talk about the shit, right? Um, I remember I remember one time I posted it was like years ago. It was my fir very first anxiety attack, and I had posted something about it on the gram, right? And then in one of one of the comments. Some dude was like, <clears throat> some girl was like, uh, she tagged somebody and she was like, see, like, it's not just like a worry thing. Like it just, it's a physical property. Like it just, it just happened. And some dude underneath that she, the dude that she tagged, she was like, nah, you just got to stop worrying about the shit. And it's like, that's how people think that a lot of mental health issues are just like, wow. just, just suppress that shit, man. It's all good. But it's it's starting to get to the forefront of conversations of like, yo, how is your mental health? How you really doing? Like I like I noticed it in my life where people are like people instead of just colloquially just like on some how you feeling, man? Like they really care. Like, how you how you doing? I'm like, man, I'm good, man. But like like are you really good? Like are they really like you know what I'm saying? Like are, like when you, they are check, you really when they check. Yeah, like how how are you really feeling, yeah. bro? Uh that's that's a really to me uh, 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 a positive step. The other thing is I seen this thing recently. Which I had never thought of. <clears throat> One of my homegirls I grew up with, like went to middle school with her shit. She posted some shit about Britney Spears, and I'm no Britney Spears fan, but um, she was like, <laughs> she was, she was like, she was like, yo, I apologize, and yada. It's this long ass message, and I read this shit. I'm like, yo, why are you capping for Britney Spears right now? I don't understand. And I'm, I'm reading it. And I'm yeah. like, yo, that just makes sense, because when we grew up, Britney Spears was like crazy, right? Yeah. She was like shaving her psycho, head shaving her. Head. She was dealing with mental health issues, yeah, but we I didn't, agree. we didn't, we didn't have the lexicon to understand or the no. empathy to try to understand what she was going through growing up in the public light. Right. And it's, I'm not saying like, what was me famous white woman? All I'm saying is it don't matter what hierarchical place you occupy in our society, right. like what you say, think and feel fucking matter dog. And there should be people there to help you out throughout your situation like it's not an easy thing because i i understand what it's like to a certain extent not to her degree but like growing up in a fishbowl right where it's like everything mm -hmm. you do say and think is critiqued and criticized and, and you don't know who to trust and you don't know like i understand I, I, I can definitely empathize with that um and so but i had never thought of like the previous icons that i grew up with in that light except for michael jackson <laughs> yeah Innocent. And, and also, and, innocent. I know. That might be what we. That might be what we disagree about. But, but we. But it, it, let's get it. Let's it, get it to it, Jake. Let's get it, Jake. We've already been into it. It's just. It's literally just feels. It just doesn't feel right. It's not feels. And I have nothing there. I have nothing there. Well, if you don't got nothing there, then there's nothing else to go there. Because Bye. all I have is all I have is like documentaries and stuff, and there, there aren't any that really defend the guy. You know why? Right, I know there isn't, why. There isn't a major network that will put it out. There's go online, you'll see pro Michael Jackson documentaries yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah. But this is what I'm saying though. So it's like this is where because like even even Drake, you know he did a posthumous song with Michael Jackson, right? Mm -hmm. He took it off his tour because of the backlash of the Neverland. So like it's it's not a good PR move to defend Michael Jackson. But when you actually look into the cases, like we look into, like dog, I don't really care you about know, this you've shit. Talk, you, you've talked to me about it, nigga. Look into the Michael Jackson allegations, and you see how much bullshit it. Jake, if I told you, Jake, I got hit with ten felony counts and four misdemeanors, and I'm going on trial in a month, what would you say to me? Ten what? felony counts. What are they for? Don't matter. Ten felony oh. fucking 
felonies, federal I, I, crimes. What would you say? Be, they'd be like, that's a lot of fucking crime, bro. Ten felony what? counts, four misdemeanors. What would you tell me? You're fucked? Bro, I'll see you on the other side. That's what you would say. <laughs> I'll see you like, when I see you, my nigga. This be fair, you got money though, and that's how that's how the system works. That's not how that system works. Not against black men, bro. I think you're right, actually. Ten well, felony, yeah, no, right. ten felony counts, four misdemeanors. This nigga was on trial, and he's I got acquitted of every single one. Every single one, because when you oh. actually, I'm dog. Listen, I've read all of the file cases, testimonies, all that shit. When you act, over shit like when you act, it was just one time because I saw the, uh, when, when that documentary came out, when that documentary came out, I became obsessed with the fact that like, yo, I've been listening and loving a pedophile my entire life. Yeah. Like, and I was like, I can't do this anymore. And at the time, my little son was obsessed with Michael Jackson, obsessed, yeah. knew his moves and shit, was doing all the little, right? I, I was like, you know what? I can't, I can't do this anymore. I got to look into this. So I began to, and the rabbit hole is deep, and you go deep, nigga. And like, and granted, you can look at all of the shit and still feel like he's innocent, but there's nothing that you can actually say that causes his guilt. It's all inference that you cannot prove. That is a leap in logic that is unreal to me. Every single, every every single allegation was tied to billions or millions of lawsuits against him. Every single one. There wasn't a real case against him. And when you look at the actual evidence posed against him, it's so flimsy. This is the reason why he got off every single time. It wasn't because he had money. Fuck no. They wanted the DA in Santa uh what the fuck I forget it was. Santa Monica. No, nah, it wasn't I don't think it was Santa Monica, it was Santa Barbara, maybe. The DA for that county was trying to get this nigga for 10 years. There was no money that was gonna get him off. He tried to get him for 10 fucking years on this shit. And just had nothing. They literally raided his home twice. They took his hard drives. They 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 dissected his life. Everything. Yeah. Nothing. They found nothing. They found things that they tried to pin on him, but it, it was literally nothing, dog. Like, I know. Um, I don't think his daughter's ever talked about it, but she's really good friends with Macaulay Culkin, and mm -hmm. sometimes shows up on his podcast. Mm -hmm. I'd be I'd be interested if she at some point came out and was like. All right, here's what I know. I was a kid, but like, here's what I here's what I know. Like, mm -hmm. Okay, so Macaulay Culkin was one of the kids that he was like grooming. They said, right? Right. Macaulay denies all of that. A hundred percent. Um, what, the other the other one who was with him all the time. Uh, what is his name? He what was his name? He took him everywhere. Um, the one with the 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 soul pack. He's still alive. He's still alive. Uh, called him Applehead. Brett Barnes. Brett Barnes took him everywhere. To this day, he's on Twitter and denies it. This is bullshit. It's all bullshit, right? <laughs> Corey Corey Feldman's another one. Okay, so hey, long story short, <laughs> this, this so 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 here's another one, right? Where it's just like, okay, when you look when you actually look at the shit, it's demonstrable lies. All right, so this dude named James Safechuck, all right, one of the two dudes in that documentary, mm -hmm. his, his name was James Safechuck. Like, he was the most believable to me. And the yeah. other dude, I just felt like he was lying. And when I dug into the story, his mother lied, his sister lied, he lied. And it's provable by what they said in court. Like they lied from the documentary to what they said in court because they're suing mm -hmm. him, right? So they have to go to the discovery and they have to testify. So James Safechuck had the biggest lie of auto and he was the most believable. He was getting, he was suing Michael Jackson, right? His, his mm -hmm. estate for a billion dollars. Jesus. They didn't mention that in the documentary, but still. Yeah. In his lawsuit, he said, I was abused by Michael Jackson from 1988 to 1992. Okay? In okay. the documentary, he made a very specific claim that said, me and Mike, we used to go into the... Uh, Mike had a very famous Disneyland train station at his house in Never Neverland. Right? It was very famous. He said, we used to go into the tower of that, and we used to do it all the time. And it was very grotesque, and he was like... Uh, you know, it's like when, when you first uh, are in a, a relationship, you just do it all the time and you do it everywhere. Well, we would always go up there and do it. Uh, it was very, and that shit struck me. Right. When I first watched it, I was like, that's just wild. Yeah, I remember dog. that. Right, right. So, well, the internet got the internet, right? And mm -hmm. that train station didn't get 
approved for building until 1993. It, it wasn't oh, no. even, it wasn't there. And so one of two things is happening. You either fucking lying in your lawsuit or you lying all together, right? Dog, that's a small sample of, of the lies that are provable upon lies upon lies upon lies that these both them dudes that were lying about. And if and if you if you want your story to be taken seriously, shit like where I was raped, where I was is should not be that much of a discrepancy. I understand like I don't know if it was in the bathroom. I don't I get that. I get all of that. And I'm very sympathetic to uh, uh people who are abused, right? But if you're making up an entire place when it wasn't in existence, when you claim to be abused, this, come on, fam. Come on, fam. It also bothers me because if if it is illegitimate, it hurts people that are, that are legitimate, right? Yes, and that's, and that's the real problem. That's also, also, that, uh, I wish there was a way that we could make that better for people, and the, really the only way to make it better is civil. It's, 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 it's civil cases. Why. It's civil cases. Stop the civil suits. Listen, if I if if I want, and this is like his very first allegation was was by um uh yeet help me out okay the, the the very first uh uh young boy it was his dad that was pushing the shit and they chose to litigate civilly jordan chandler they chose to uh litigate uh in civil ca uh, court rather than criminal court yeah because civil is all about money it's all about compensation and when right. and when they won that they well they didn't really win they settled right because mike jackson was like Mike Jackson's defend like t tell me this, tell me this, dog. You're you're on trial, okay? You're mm -hmm. on trial. You're getting litigated for a civil case and a criminal case for the same for the same thing, but they're two different things. You have to go to court both times. They're separate, but for, they're for the same things. Civil is all about a monetary compensation. Yeah. Uh, criminal is all about you going to just about jail time. Yeah. All right. The judge ruled that the civil case should go first. After Michael Jackson case in California, they changed that law to where the, the criminal case has to go first, then the civil, right? But before yeah. that, it wasn't the case. They did the civil first. They did the civil case. And if, if you're, if you're, if you're a, 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 a lawyer for the Michael Jackson allegations and you're saying, okay, I have to present my evidence in this civil case, which then gives the state opportunity to see our evidence and then counteract it they were like settle this case so so the one that really matters to, to get mike off or not we have all the evidence for which, which they have to they have to pursue in the moment rather than having time right so they settled that after they settled jordan chandler his father and his mother refused to press criminal charges they refused to go forward. The, the the dude I said earlier, the DA Tom Snedden, he he was like he was like, yo, we can still pursue these criminal charges, and they were like, nah. That's shocking, actually. No, it's not shocking. They're full of shit. I'm telling well, like, no, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I'm like, telling you. So, I'm, t I'm so telling for you. A good, right. If in good faith. I can't, imagine my parent, again. I can't imagine a parent not wanting that person being. Put Thank away. you. I got four kids. If somebody touched my my child. They going to jail. I don't give a fuck about a dollar. I don't fuck how rich I am. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Exactly. That's that's excluding the fact in my, that I'm going in Minecraft. In Minecraft. Yeah. In a hypothetical Minecraft server yeah. where you share. Yeah. You know? Ex excluding the fact <laughs> that I will beat the dog shit out of this nigga. Allegedly. No, no, no. I will beat the dog shit out of this nigga. And, just well, enough. Just enough. Just enough perspective. To uh, in Fight Night. Round four with Roy Jones Jr. on the cover of it. Xbox 360. Okay, anyway. Nope. Real life. Okay. Beating the dog shit out of this nigga. <laughs> After that, I don't give a <laughs> fuck about what this nigga has. I'm not taking a dime from this nigga. You're going to jail. Now, if I get that money first, but let's say I get the, 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 it was between, I think, 14 and 20 million. They don't, they never really said. Say I get the money. The DA, the district attorney, comes to me and says, we can still prosecute. We need you to testify. They refuse to testify for criminal charges. Kiss my ass. They, 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 they declined. They took the money and ran. Kiss my ass. 
Jordan Chandler still alive today has never said a word about it. Even even worse. Here's even worse. Jordan Chandler was 12 allegedly when it happened, 13 when the case was going on. After after the civil case was was litigated and after the crim after they refused to press criminal charges, Jordan Chandler filed for emancipation from his parents. So they were no longer his legal guardians after that case dismissed. Get the fuck out of here, dog. Get the fuck out of here, fam. Yeah. And every single allegation, and that wasn't even the one he got hit with 10 felonies. That wasn't the one. It was the one after that, 2005, the one was like the biggest case in, like one of the biggest cases televised ever in the world. That was the one. The other one wasn't, he wouldn't get hit with them counts because you know why? I'll tell you why. Two grand juries, two grand juries looked at the evidence for the 1992 Jordan Chandler case and didn't find enough evidence to even convict. Two separate grand juries. Independent, my nigga. This is interesting. The more you, I'm the more you dig into it, the more you're like, holy shit, this nigga was fucking hoodwinked. I'm telling you. The, well, the I, well, I, have a, I have a, I have a, I have a person backing you up. I, uh, the, the quote is, I know, I know people think Feldman is a joke, and yes, Corey Feldman, and mm -hmm. he is kind of a joke. But, mm -hmm. and I didn't know this about him. Apparently, he focuses a lot on outing, uh, Hollywood pedophiles. sex offenders and pedophiles and stuff. Yep. And he still defends Michael Jackson to this day. I actually mm -hmm. didn't know that. Yep. You know, uh, for my friend Michael Jackson, and this is a very good point, uh, Michael Jackson was a witch hunt, okay? Let me just say this. As far as I know, and I don't know all the facts because I wasn't in every room, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know a lot of things that happened in the years that I wasn't around, but all I can tell you is remarking about the person that I know, the person that was my close friend, that was like a brother to me, he was not that guy. He was a guy who was so innocent so kind of sheltered, you couldn't even swear around him. You couldn't talk to him. So, why does that help? Because why he because because he... because Hollywood pedophilia you know he, is a pe thing. He, Hollywood yeah, pedophilia is a fucking thing. Like like I would never get like like dog the way they prey on 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 children in general in our country. I mean the way we the, the way we sexualize kids is a, is a thing, and it's not to me yeah. it's not a new occurrence. Like this has been a problem since humanity has began. Like, there are people who are sexually attracted to children, right? And so, he was a victim of it. And he, to this day, defends Michael Jackson. To this R. Day. Kelly is a good example. Yeah, that's true. But it's all over. You know, like, uh, uh, in, our, in our communities, in the black communities, it is not talked about enough that a lot there's a lot of pedophilia that goes on in our communities. From uncles, from people that you know. I think it's like something like 90% of the... The victims, uh, or the or the abusers of children, are somebody who they know. It might be more than ninety percent. Oh, it's, it's really high, yeah. But it's a, but it's a, but it's a huge problem. And so I don't take the shit like like nigga. I'm a SJW. Like I go to bat, right? Like no, give me like I, I and you know them, them Nazis be like, oh you're a SJW. You fucking right. You fucking right. I yeah. I I have gone over this case with a fine tooth comb, bro. All of these cases and them. Uh, well, are, obviously I tend to believe you. Like them niggas are full of shit, dog. I'm, I'm like, look at this. Shit. Here's another one. This is the last little gem. Last little gem. So there was two dudes in that documentary. There was one that was James Safechuck. The other one was uh, Wade Robson. Wade Robson. Wade, Wade Robson. That. He was a lot. You could tell that nigga was lying. He was the one I was like, that nigga lying. But James, I was like, man, that motherfucker. And I feel for him, right? Yeah. But then, but then I looked a little deeper and. Uh, da, da, da. But anyway. It seems um, like both of these people are victims of their parents, though. At the same time, all of them are. All of like, dog, like this. Mike, this, Mike obviously is, but dog, I just mean Michael, Mike. Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. What? Th there's either two two leaps you have to make with this shit, right? There's two leaps. Mm -hmm. Michael Jackson was either either the most conniving, ran one of the most conniving child sex predator rings of all time, or Michael Jackson was one of the most angelic, great human beings to ever walk this earth. Like, there's no <laughs> fucking gray area. Yeah. There's no gray area, dog. And I I grew up thinking this nigga was guilty. I yeah, grew up, like, like, digging into this shit changed my mind. Like, I was like, okay, he guilty. Let me just see it for myself, though. Dug into it. And I was like, no, there's no fucking way. 
There's just no fucking way, dog. Like there's there, like there's never a way. Like I don't know what happens in like when you shut the doors of a bedroom. There's no way to tell, right? But the subsequent acts and the inference that you can draw from the consequences of everybody's actions are outside. I don't see it at all. Not even close. Um, but th th this is this is this is another one. Just so just, just to credit this nigga Wade Robson. Check this out. This nigga filed for uh, his uh, lawsuit in 2011, I believe. 2010, 2011, it's been a minute. Previously, Michael Jackson gave him the bad glove and the yeah. hat. Now, he has the real jaunts. The real jaunts. The day after Michael Jackson died, the, the, no, the day after Michael Jackson died, he emails the Michael Jackson estate. And after I did this podcast, the Michael Jackson estate reached out to me and they were like, we want to have lunch with you. This is, you did a like, this is one of the best jobs you've done. And my, my, actually my pod that I did on, on YouTube, it actually got took down. Like for whatever reason, I haven't disputed you. I could dispute it, but it got took down. It's, it's funny, but uh, they saw it. They got, it got played like in UC, like some UCLA law school. Like, this is how you like break down cases like it got really it, it was, so the michael jackson estate uh reached out to me and i had to go have dinner with them i remember uh, lunch with them and the fun the funny thing is like i like i told them to their face and i know they didn't like it but i told them to their face i was like listen i didn't re research this shit to vindicate michael i researched shit to to make sure i wasn't letting my son fall in love with somebody who could commit these kind of atrocities yeah. and then this is what i found Right, and they were like, "No, we appreciate it." You know what I'm saying? Like that was a, that they have a stake, obviously, in keeping Michael's reputation. But they're correct. Yeah. So, anyway, 2000, 2009, uh, the day after Michael Jackson died, Wade Robson emails the Michael Jackson estate and says, "Can I choreograph a a, a tribute to Michael for Vegas, a show, the day after he died?" The Ooh. nigga, nigga, his body, his body's still warm, nigga, and you over here fucking, you trying to, you trying to make money off this nigga. All right, bet, right? So, they tell him no, they they tell him no. They was right. like, nah, like it's too soon, like whatever. Two years later, this nigga filed and says he he starts to sue the Michael Jackson estate because all these because of his abuse, right? Six months before he files that lawsuit. He goes on a site called Julian's Auctions. Julian's Auctions is a is a is a website that auctions off like valuable things. Right. He sold Michael Jackson's Super hat. Super valuable thing. Yep. He sold Michael Jackson's hat. He sold Michael Jackson's gloves that he gave him. The real jaunts. Like the real uh, it was smooth criminal. Sorry, it wasn't beat. It was smooth criminal. Right. Like the real stuff. Right. He asked, he said, Can you send can you sell it anonymously? Julian's auction said no. This is the Wade Robson collection, and they sold it as the Wade Robson collection. And Julian Julian's auctions uh, uh, said that after all this shit came out, there was like he he tried to set, he tried to sell it anonymously. So before you filed a lawsuit, you trying to get money off the shit that he gave you. This nigga is a con artist, dog. It is, it's, and that's just one example. There are ten. 15 examples like that where he's just trying to make money dog it's insane the little shit like um in the documentary where they say and i, I know that i'm going long with it here but i'll stop no I, this is interesting it's fascinating so so in the documentary they said uh he got abused first when his family went and visited him in australia right. uh, from australia his family then went to the grand canyon right and they left their fucking five-year-old with a fucking stranger anyway and that's when it started. In Joy, his mother, Joy Robson, his her testimony in nineteen in the nineteen ninety two case against Jordan Chandler because they asked her to defend Michael, and she did. All of them did. The whole family did. She said that the whole family went to uh, Arizona, including Wade. Including Wade. Okay. Dog, it's just inconsistency after inconsistency, and it's it's riddled with that. And once you put the piece together, you're like, oh, these niggas is lying. Like when you really put the pieces together, like because it takes time, because it's like it's years upon years. And what you find out, this is what you really find out. What you really find out is, so like I, so like I, I've been sued for shit that I didn't do, 
thousand percent, right? I got sued for shit that I didn't do. Like, there's still people out there who think I did what I didn't do, right? And that's fine, but I didn't do it. And even the person that sued me knows I didn't do it. Will Smith once said he has lawyers on retainer because he gets sued so much. Michael Makes Jackson, sense. Michael Jackson was the most popular human being on earth. They used yeah. to say, who's more popular, Michael Jackson or Jesus? They used to say that shit. Michael Jackson was the most popular person on earth. He got sued so many times. What they did was they found his vulnerability. His vulnerability was kids. He would do anything for kids. As many stories as there was for his little, his pedophile charges, there was hundreds of stories of people that he would just, like there was this one story of this, of this, of this woman who was like, I gotta say something. My kid had cancer and, uh, and Michael would call him every other week and talk for hours just to check up on him, just to talk to him, shit like that. Yeah. Never, never wanted anything. Never just, just, just wanted a good friend. That was Mike. And that's why I said, you either have to believe he was a super pedophile and he just like tried to groom niggas or this nigga was just a really good human being. And I used to think he was a pedophile, but once you dig into the story, this nigga was a great human being, bro. This nigga was just a really good human being. And like, once you dig into these stories and, and these lies, what you really understand is that this nigga was getting sued by everyone and every everything, everybody by his vulnerabilities. There were there were ex-housekeepers that were suing him. There were uh everybody was suing him for this thing, dog. And once you and once you like once you really dig into the shit, you realize how full of shit these niggas are, dog. Because they just this just lie after lie after lie after lie. And I feel so strongly about this because I spent fucking months combing over this goddamn evidence, nigga. Okay? It's insane. But alright, I'm all, I'm done. I'm done. No, it was a good rant. It was a good rant. Yeah. I hate yeah.